hello everyone welcome back to my channel today we will be going through uh, this paper 2 of year 9 checkpoint so let's start the first question that we have here x power 4 plus m times x power 5 so we have exponent rule x power m times x power n so whenever you have base same so you just add the powers right so that is going to be x power m plus n so final answer is going to be 4 plus 5 that is x power 9 right so x power 9 is going to be the final answer right now number 2 here is an expression uh, you are given this expression here a value of x is substituted into the expression take the operation that is performed first you see um, first is underlined uh, bold here when the value of this expression is calculated so first of all using bit mass we are going to use uh, bracket solve bracket first so in bracket what do you have first x minus 2 so first you will perform this one that is minus 2 so we are going to tick this one over here right now uh, number 3 the length of a book is 25 centimeters to the nearest centimeter complete these statements about the length of the book the lower limit for the length of the book and the upper limit so 25 centimeter so this is going to be upper limit and this is going to be lower limit right for the upper limit you are going to add 0 0.5 so that is 25.5 and the lower limit you are going to subtract minus 0 0.5 so 25 minus 0 0.5 is 24.5 so the lower limit is 24.5 and the upper limit is 25.5 right question number four the diagram shows two straight lines crossing straight lines crossing a pair of parallel lines so these are parallel lines right and these two lines are crossing it so here are some statements about angle x uh, angle a so here is angle a that we are talking about tick the two correct statements we are going to tick the correct ones here only the first one angle a is corresponding to angle b so a and b whenever there is like corresponding angles you need to look for f shape so these are the corresponding angles they may be uh, below the line they may be up the line so this is not corresponding because these two lines are not parallel so we are not going to tick that a is alternate to angle c for alternate we will look for like these two parallel lines we are looking for these two angles z shape right so alternate one is on this side of the line another one on the other side so we are talking about a and c so if you look here this a and c we have here <coughs> this one z shape right so this and this they are alternate so we are going to take this one right now angle a is equal to angle d angle a and d now if you look at angle a and d so look carefully if you see we can see the f shape here so it is like this right so it is like this so this angle and this angle they are corresponding so this is angle a and this is angle d so corresponding angles are always equal so yes that is correct right now angle a is vertical opposite to angle e angle a and e vertical opposite angles are like this when their two lines cross and then we have these opposite angles but these lines don't cross so this is not the answer so we are not going to take that Question 5. Find the size of each interior angle in a regular pentagon. Uh, pentagon having 5 sides, right? A shape having 5 sides. Uh, so, interior angle. So, sum of the interior angles. Sum of interior angles is uh, n minus 2 times 180. So, n, n is n minus 2 times 180 so that means n is 5 5 minus 2 that is 3 times 180 uh, that is 540 
सो दैट इज द सम ऑफ ऑल द एंगल्स ऑफ अ पेंटागन शेप लाइक दिस सो सम ऑफ ऑल दीज एंगल सो वी आर आस्ट साइज ऑफ ईच एंगल सो ईच एंगल इज गोइंग टू बी फाइव हंड्रेड एंड फोर्टी डिवाइडेड बाई फाइव दैट इज हंड्रेड एंड एट डिग्रीज राइट नाउ द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ द प्रिजम इज अ रेगुलर पेंटागॉन ड्रॉ अ रिंग अराउंड द नंबर ऑफ प्लेन्स ऑफ सिमिट्री ऑफ द प्रिजम सो फॉर द पेंटागॉन पेंटागोनल प्रिजम सो इट समथिंग लाइक दिस लेट मी ड्रॉ अ रफ डायग्राम हेयर so then you may have like this you join these ones like this so pentagon so for pentagon there are five sides and it's a regular pentagon so for the regular pentagon all the sides are equal so there will be five planes of symmetry and plus one this so that means total will be six planes of symmetry number 6 a cylinder has 7 cm radius and height of 15 cm so radius is 7 and height is 15 calculate the volume so volume of the cylinder formula of volume of cylinder is pi r squared h so pi r is 7 squared and h is 15 so we can just calculate it directly so this is going to be uh, pi Times forty nine, which is seven squared times fifteen. So we have here two point three. Sorry, it's not two point two zero two thousand three hundred and nine point zero seven. So that is the answer. Question seven. Complete the table of values for y equals to x squared minus four. So we have this here. Uh, so when x is the negative three, what will be y? So when x is negative three, you can just use the calculator here. So when it is negative three, remember to put the brackets. Negative three power two equals minus four. So this is five. So this is five here. And x negative one, negative one square is one minus four. That is negative three. So three, three squared is nine. Nine minus four, it is five. So by doing this, you will score one mark. Now draw the graph of this y equals to x squared minus four for values of negative three to three. So we are already given these values here. We are just going to plot them. So x negative three and y five. X negative three is here. Y five, it is here, right? This is done. X negative two and Y zero is here. Then X negative one and Y negative three, it's here. <coughs> X zero and Y negative four. X one, Y negative three. X two, Y zero. X two, Y zero, and X three, Y five. X three, Y is five, right? so i'm going to join this line it's a free hand curve so just join all the points like this okay so this is the graph question 8 the table shows information about the temperature in 20 cities in one day so here is the frequency here is the temperature complete the frequency polygon to show this information so this is the frequency polygon here this is the frequency and this is temperature so we have here 6 to 8 6 to 8 was 3 right then 8 to 10 was 2 here then 10 to 12 is 4 10 to 12 is 4 you see here now 20 12 to 14 12 to 14 this one here we'll take it in the uh, middle Uh, 10 to here and 12 to 15. This is the uh, uh, three. Three is here, and then we have 14 to 16. 14 to 16, it is eight. We will take the middle here, here. So just join it using a ruler. So this is how you can complete this diagram. right
Now, part B, put a ring around the intervals that contains the median temperature. So, median temperature, what is median? Median will be the middle value somewhere. So, for the median, we will take, we have here 20 uh, cities, right? Half of that is 10. So, 10, we have here 3 plus 2 is 5. The next one is 5 plus 2, it is 7. So, then this is 5 plus 4 is 9, sorry, 5 plus 2, 4 is 9. Then it will be, 10 will be in the next one. So, up to here is 9, the next is going to be in the next interval. So, temperature for that is 12 to 14. So, we are going to circle this one. Now, find the greatest possible value of the range of the temperatures. So, greatest possible values of the range of the temperature. For that, uh, so as for that you have to look into the uh, column of the temperatures. So, temperature is here. So, the lowest value is 16. The highest is 6. Uh, sorry, 16 minus 6. So, that is 10. So, final answer is 10 for this. Number 9, here are the equations of some straight line graphs. We have these 1, 2, 3, 4 equations. Draw a ring around the graph with gradient 2. So, the standard form of equation of line is mx, y equals to mx plus c, where m is the uh, gradient. So, mx plus c. C is that with gradient 2. So, mx. So, here we have this one, y equals to 2x and here is y when you to bring uh, 2 down here it will become x2 and this is x equals 2. So, this is the only line that has gradient of 2. Now, part b, uh, Yuri's teacher asked him to write down the properties that gradient of y equals to 2x plus 1 and uh, y equals to 6x plus 1 both have in common. Uh, write down three properties. Okay, what are the properties that is same? Uh, so, if you see here and um, there, um, okay, Yuri has written uh, two of the properties. We need to write down the third one. Complete Yuri's list by writing down another property. They both have straight lines. That's true. They both have positive gradient. That's true. This has gradient 2 and this has gradient 6. Now, what else is common? You see this one. 1 and 1 is common. So, that means both have, they both have gradient, equal gradient or gradient same. That is 1. 1 is the gradient of both lines, right? So, that is, that's it for number 9. So, let's move to number 10. I hope you guys are getting everything. Please subscribe to my channel if you are liking the content. And let me know in the comment section about what paper next you need to do. And press the like button and please support by sharing it to your friends. Right? I will wait for your comments guys. Number 10, the diagram shows two shapes on a grid. You see P and Q shape here. Uh, shape Q is enlargement of shape P. So, this is the bigger than this. Uh, write down the scale factor of this enlargement. So, for the scale factor, we always divide um, the number of squares of the um, enlarged shape by the other. So, we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. 6 divided by 2, that factor is 3, right? Find the center of enlargement. So, now for the center of the enlargement, you need to um, join the uh, vertices, corresponding vertices. So, I am taking this one here. So, just draw a dotted line. So, let's see where do they meet. And I am choosing this one here now to the other one here. So, we have... Actually, you will get by joining two, but we need to confirm it with others also. So, this one here, like here, they all meet at this point, which is 0, 0. So, center of enlargement is going to be 0 and 0, right? Number 12, the diagram shows a semicircle with radius 12.3. Calculate the perimeter of the uh, semi circle 
now perimeter so this one this one is half of the circle so that means that will be uh, perimeter of a circle is 2 pi r right and we will divide it by 2 so that will give you the perimeter of this that means uh, this is pi r right and plus we have to add this one uh, this is radius radius is 12.3 times 2 will be the diameter right so the perimeter of the semicircle is going to be pi r plus 12.3 times 2 so pi times r is 12.3 plus 12.3 times 2 so let me see how much is that uh, pi times 12.3 plus 12.3 times 2 so this is a 63.24 63.24 that is the final answer right now number 12 um, it takes five workers um, it takes five workers 300 minutes to decorate some cakes okay so find how many minutes would it take 12 workers to decorate the same number of cakes so now if we see here now if we see like five workers sorry bear with my handwriting uh, five workers take 300 minutes right to decorate some cake if we have one worker one worker is going to take more time right so that means we are going to multiply by five and if we take five workers five workers then are going to take less time so that means we will divide it by 12 so now when you calculate this let's see this is 3 times 5, 1500 over 12. So 1500 divided by 12, it is 125. So 125 minutes. Okay. So let's wind this video here. So remaining question we will do in the next video. So I hope you guys are getting everything. I will wait for your comments. Thank you so much guys. God bless you and all the best for your coming exams. See you in the next video.